depth of the ocean is 12,000 feet. Now, one of the problems I was having, though, in my undersea exploration was getting to work. 50% of the world's oceans is deeper than 12,000 feet. Just to get to the average depth in a submarine, it takes me two and a half hours in the morning to get to work and two and a half hours in the evening to get home. I got a five-hour commute to work. <coughs> my average bottom time is three to four hours. My average distance traveled in a day is a mile. There's only four vehicles like this in, on Earth that can reach the average depth of Earth. That's ludicrous. Twelve people on a good day will be down on the average depth. But that's why it's, we, we know so little about our planet with this kind of technology. So I began to develop a new kind of technology. We call it telepresence. The concept of telepresence is to create a remote presence, to make you think you're there when you're physically not there. So I began designing a new vehicle system. I called it the Argo Jason system, in memory of Jason and the Argonauts. The concept was to build a little robot, that little guy down at the bottom, that would have everything I had in my submarine except me. And to use a fiber optic connection up to the surface to create on the surface ship a theater, basically to enter a room. And when I turned the room on, I thought I was in a submarine looking out beautiful windows that were, in fact, high-definition plasma displays. And that was my dream. But the beauty of telepresence, several beauties of it, once you put your vehicle system down, there's no reason to bring it up. There's no human down there that needs to be recharged. There's no batteries down there. You're sending power down the line, so it's continuous. You can now explore 24 hours a day. More importantly, if you make an important discovery, you know, if you make a, like these new life forms, when we discovered them, we had no biologists on the expedition. We had to wait two years to cycle people back to that spot. Now we can beam it ashore and network in uh, through now Internet 2, which is the new delivery system. But the idea was to take this technology, and I went out on my first expedition with it to demonstrate the power of this technology, and it was to find the Titanic. We wanted to demonstrate that we'd entered a new era in undersea exploration. But in our explorations of the Titanic, uh, it was my first piece of human history that I'd ever explored. I'd explored mountain ranges and new life forms and creatures and volcanoes, but I'd never gone into the deep. This was the first pyramid of the deep that was ever discovered. Human history that had been lost in great depth. Titanic was lost in 12,000 feet of water. And we explored it with our technology uh, 18, 19 years ago. It had a tremendous impact on my life in many ways, and one of them was when I came home. When I came home, I had 16,000 letters waiting for me from young children. They all said the same thing. What do I have to do to do what you did? And the kids were hooked on, you know, kids do know the difference between fantasy and fact. And there are very few robots like JJ, Jason Jr., that's a real robot. There are very few things that kids can really latch onto that are high-tech adventures that are real. They got Star Trek and you know, R2-D2 and CP3O and all, but it's not real. When we did this expedition, kids went like a laser and said, that is what I want to do. That's the future uh, that I want to be excited about. What do I have to do? Well, the answer is simple, I told them. Go to college, study physics for 10 years, slam dunk after that, OK? <laughs> they were not making the connection between the fun I have, and I do have a lot of fun, and the dues I pay to have that fun. You know, when everyone's out in the gridiron, I was studying, okay? Although I did play college basketball, that taught me a lot about teamwork, but I gave it up and moved on and kept learning. So I had an idea, because the next thing in their sentence, in their letter said, can I go with you next time you go? And I thought, well, you know, why not? Let's look at this whole concept of telepresence. If I can create a telepresence on the ship and then replicate it on the beach for my scientific colleagues, I can replicate it on the beach for children. So I started a program called the Jason Project, which is based here in Massachusetts. And the concept of the Jason Project is, OK, we'll stop what we normally do once a year, and we'll go out on a mountain expedition for children.